The U.S. military is moving more forces to the Middle East amid ongoing ceasefire talks with Israel and Hamas. There are fears of a wider war with Israel anticipating an attack by Iran and its proxies following the assassination of top Hamas and Hezbollah leaders in recent weeks. As ABC's Rena Roy explains, the U.S. warns an attack on Israel could come as early as this week. Israeli forces on high alert with the White House warning a retaliatory attack by Iran and its proxies against Israel could be launched any day now. We have to be prepared for what could be a significant set of attacks. It comes after multiple Hezbollah and Hamas leaders were killed in recent weeks. American military assets being sent to the region, including aircraft carriers and a submarine. The U.S. signaling deterrence. And we obviously don't want to see any kind of uh, attack or response happen in the first place. One official telling ABC News that the U.S. is cautiously optimistic Iran will limit the scope of an attack. But American authorities warn any Iranian military action could harm the already fragile negotiations for a cease fire in Gaza, where the IDF is continuing its barrage following the Hamas terror attack in October. <laughs> this man telling ABC News his twin babies were killed in an Israeli airstrike. It comes as the death toll nears 40,000, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The CIA director and a senior advisor on the Middle East plan to head to the region to spearhead ceasefire talks this week, but it is unclear if Hamas will return to the table. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. And today, Iran rejected a call by three European countries urging it to refrain from any retaliatory attacks. Iran calls it a, quote, excessive request.